today we will study sonophagosis tract delivery system its main aim to develop this system is to increase the penetration of drug molecules across the skin we know that uh, skin is a structure through which any drug molecules cannot pass easily the main layer uh, the various layers like stratum corneum epidermis then subdermal tissues subcutaneous tissues dermis these are the various layers of skin through that if drug have to pass through it it will have certain characteristics otherwise if a higher molecular weight drug molecules it will not it cannot pass through the skin so using sonophagosis we can make it pass we can make it penetrate through the skin this is the flow of my slide uh, today's lecture that uh, introduction generation of ultrasound then mechanism of ultrasonic uh, sonophagosis or ultrasound waves future trends applications advantages and limitations so first of all what is sonophagosis so it is the enhancement of drug molecules uh, uh, penetration enhancement of drug molecules by the through the skin by ultrasonic energy so what sonophagosis does it um, produces uh, description of skin epidermis or skin layers by producing vibrations using ultrasound waves so overall kinetic energy of drug molecule increase due to the description of skin layers it requires ultrasound waves so how we can produce ultrasound waves using so ultra sonic attack is the device which will produce uh, alternating electric signals which pass through the uh, transducer and that transducer will generate internal electric charge from applied mechanical stress we need to produce a frequency range of 20 kilohertz to 20 millihertz then and then only we can reduce the resistance of stratum cognitive which is the main obstacle for the skin penetration so this is the figure of ultrasonic generation system in the upper part we can see it is the uh, ultra, uh, that high frequency generator which pass through the 20 kilohertz to 20 millihertz frequency will pass through the transducer which is made up of lead cords or titanium so through that transducer this ultra frequency ultrasonic waves will pass through the drug molecules which will be uh, uh, in uh, dissolved in a solvent or ultrasound gel and then it will pass to the uh, skin layers where it will in uh, disrupt the skin layers and it will increases the penetration of uh, drugs so we have to use coupling medium what coupling medium we have we can use the same solvent in which drug is dissolved otherwise commercial ultrasound gels are available which also we can use why to use coupling medium it will uh, match the impedance of tissue with the transducer so that the ultrasound gets properly into the tissue it will uh, pass the ultrasound waves properly through the tissues if you use uh, mechanism of sonophagosis it is uh, the first mechanism of sonophagosis is cavitation it is occurs due to nucleation of small gaseous molecules or cavities in the skin bilayers it produces cavities by the gaseous molecules or gaseous cavities in the skin bilayers and formation of aqueous channels in the skin through which drug can permeate easily it will produce two sides of uh, two types of cavitations inside the skin and outside the skin inside the skin that uh, gaseous bubbles will disrupt or will interfere the bilayer structure of the skin and outside skin it will cause skin erosion due to generation of shock waves so we, with this uh, mechanism of cavitation they will produce uh, disruption in skin bilayers and uh, increases the drug penetration next mechanism is connective uh, transport what connective transport uh, when uh, it refers to the transport of fluid across the porous membrane when which is driven by applied pressure by so with that pressure uh, your drug or fluid will move across the porous membrane here membrane is the skin so using the due to that ultrasound waves pressure 
your drug molecule which is present in the ultrasound uh, gel or uh, solvent it will be passed through the skin next is mechanical stress we can have a uh, ultrasound is a longitudinal pressure when it induces pressures on the skin it indu uh, in turn it induces density variation so that ultrasound waves causes density variation due to that density variation uh, it will cause fatigue to the skin membrane due to that uh, fatigue that self uh, that skin bilayers will uh, disorder or it will uh, due to that uh, stresses caused by the longitudinal pressure of ultrasound waves it will disrupt the structure or self uh, structure of the lipid bilayers which result in an increase in the bilayer permeability through which drug can pass so these are the mechanisms of ultrasound waves first was uh, cavitation second is uh, conv convective transport and third one is the mechanical stress in all they will disturb the uh, skin bilayer and increases the uh, drug molecules penetrability so what is the future trends of vaccine uh, sonophagosis mainly it will can be useful for the vaccination to increase the penetration of vaccination we can use sonophagosis one common strategy nowadays it is used for the vaccination to enhance the <coughs> immune response is adjuvant use of adjuvant with, uh, with the uh, vaccine drug vac drugs we uh, what do you call uh, adjuvant with the vaccine whatever uh, vaccine we are giving we are giving with them adjuvant which will increase is the immune response so using this sonophagosis we can enhance uh, their delivery to the target cells or to, uh, to, to the skin this is the one of the future trends then applications then sonophagosis is used for the treatment of damaged skin hormone delivery then we can uh, build uh, use various treatments surgeries then it is also useful for the drug enhancement in granulomas tumors uh, and uh, it uh, can be also used for the treating tennis elbow tendon problems then different kinds of gene delivery also we can do using ultrasonophagosis drug delivery system then advantages it avoids various associated uh, disadvantages of GI tract like uh, pH, enzymatic activity and food drug interaction. Then it can be substitute oral administration. Uh, some drugs may cause vomiting or diarrhea. Such kind of drugs we can give by this route sonophagosis by via the skin. If we can bypass first pass effect and it risk uh, avoid the risk and inconveniences of parenteral therapy uh, as we can remove immediately we can terminate the therapy if any on allergic condition which is not possible in parenteral therapy also we can reduce daily dosing uh, by apply, uh, delivering the drug at the target site then also we can have rapid identification of the medication in emergencies then another things are we can <coughs> using improve control of the concentration of drug with small therapeutic indices then minimize intra and intra patient variation suitability of self-administration we no need no need of skilled person for the administration of drug like in parenteral then disadvantages the main disadvantages of skin drug delivery or uh, sonophagosis is we can deliver the drug only potent drugs which is which is uh, dose having less than 10 mg we cannot deliver a drug which is having dose more than 10 mg per day this is the main limitation of skin drug delivery that is sonophagosis also including sonophagosis so many systematically effective therapeutic agent drugs produce skin irritation so skin structure may affect or it may cause skin irritation by drug as well as by ultrasound waves and uh, skin changes as the age group changes so skin structure changes as the age group changes this is the another advantages so another limitation for the sonophagosis 
track delay system. So, we have seen in this uh, introduction then how we can produce ultrasound waves, then its mechanisms, then its uh, applications, uh, future trends, advantages and limitations. So, this is all about the sonophosis track delivery system. Thank you.